Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Labor Day. This is Dave Munyon here with the National Weather Service in San Diego, giving you your weekly weather briefing for the week of September 2nd, 2024. Now, the big headline for this week is going to be that warming up through the midweek. Pretty dangerous heat wave we're expecting through the end of this week for the first week of September. Fortunately, though, it won't last forever. There's light at the end of the tunnel and temperatures should moderate as we get into this weekend. There will be elevated fire weather conditions for Thursday and Friday. Those are going to be the hottest days as well. And then we are going to stay dry through the week. Not much in the likes of precipitation with maybe just a few storms in the mountains this weekend. So here's a look right now at some of the heat headlines we have out currently. We have excessive heat warnings out for the inland areas and the mountain areas as well. We are most confident in exceptionally abnormal heat, hazardous heat as well. We also have excessive heat watches out for the desert areas as well. We're just a little bit less confident in time for those, um, but those will likely get upgraded in the coming days. Now, the hottest temperatures are going to be focused in those desert areas, especially the lower deserts of the Coachella Valley and into San Diego County. But the Inland Empire will also see very hot temperatures, over 100 degrees, almost pushing 110 degrees. So these are very, very hot conditions, folks. Definitely not something you want to be outside doing strenuous activity for long periods of time. And also, children, you never want to leave kids or pets locked in a car. Now, here is a look at the probability of maximum temperatures getting over 100. In this case, this is going to be for Wednesday. So this is the chance that you're going to see triple digit heat in your area. Now, where we have those really hot colors, those yellows and almost white yellow color, that's almost a slam dunk that we're going to see temperatures over 100. No surprise for the deserts. It's also a pretty slam dunk in the Inland, Inland Empire as well. And then maybe some slight chances for portions of the San Diego Valley areas. Now, as we move into Thursday here, this is the same thing. The chance that you're going to see temperatures over 100 degrees. Again, slam dunk in the desert areas. Even more of a slam dunk for the Inland Empire. Places like Riverside, San Bernardino, and just north of Temecula too. But if you notice in the San Diego Valley area and other portions of the Orange County Inlands and other areas... Definitely higher chances. I mean, look at Ramona at 64% chance of seeing 100 degrees or more on Thursday afternoon. Now we can pivot and look at what about the potential of seeing temperatures over 110 degrees. Again, slam dunk in the deserts. Again, not too much of a surprise, but we even have a non-zero chance of some 110 plus degree temperatures in the Inland Empire for Thursday. Now Thursday will be the hottest day of the week. Fortunately, it's still going to be very hot for Friday as well, but we wanted to show you at least the heat risk for Thursday. Major risk for most of the low-lying elevations, getting into that moderate risk for the mountains, but there are some splotches here and there of extreme risk, including parts of Ontario, San Bernardino, other portions of the San Diego County Valleys, and then into the deserts as well. Definitely not heat you want to mess around with. And then here we'll show uh, that light at the end of the tunnel that I talked about, probability of max temperatures over 100 degrees, it's still pretty expansive for Friday as well. Um, very similar to that on Thursday. But this last day of our heat wave, we're starting to transition out of the heat back closer to normal here on Saturday afternoon, restricting those uh, higher probabilities of 100 degree temperatures to the Inland Empire and the deserts, maybe some splotchy spots in the San Diego Valleys as well. Now with that, I wanted to leave you with some parting thoughts on how to stay safe in the heat. Again, if you are, if you need to be outside for any extended period of time, please be drinking plenty of water, wear light clothing and sunscreen if you can. Definitely limit the time outdoors if at all possible. And if you have to be outside for an extended period of time, try and do a portion of that work or most of that work in the early morning or late in the day around sunset. And with that, that'll close out the briefing for this week. Thank you for watching. If you want more detailed weather information, head to our website there or our social media channels on X and Facebook or YouTube. Have a great day, everyone.